All right, this is legit hilarious. The Indiana Fever set the record straight when it comes to Caitlin Clark's record-breaking assists in her rookie season. The reason they had to do this, or they didn't have to do this, and it could be coincidence, don't get me wrong. You know, it was assist week in the WNBA. It could have just so happened that the Fever posted this, and it had nothing to do with the previous day. But I'm going to pretend it was completely in response, and it very well may have been that as well. Uh, So in case you missed it, you know, the WNBA put out a post that inaccurately titled or, or totaled, I'm sorry, Clark's assists on the season. They got a community note, and then the post was eventually deleted because they wrote 321 instead of 337, which is what Clark had. Then, after that, they go on to count down their top assists of the season, and in the midst of doing that, they share an assist from last year. They share an assist from last year from Chelsea Gray against the Indiana Fever. Again, they had to delete it. They had to delete it. And then what do they do? They go back and find another Chelsea Gray assist from this year, also against the Fever. Not to say that I mean, Chelsea don't deserve to catch no strays. You know, shots at Chelsea. She's a great passer, been a great point guard throughout her career. It's just kind of amusing because she's been used as the point god or the one who is um, stated as the best passer in contrast to Clark. Remember even when Alyssa Smith asked it after a great Chelsea Gray pass? So the fact that it was a Gray play, no, number one, then it was a Gray play against the Fever, number two, which happened to be the year before, so it was a mistake, number three. And then the next one they find is another Gray pass against the Fever. It's like, hmm, all right, all right. Let's, uh, what are you doing here? Um, but nonetheless, whatever, <laughs> the, the, the fever have now since corrected the record or set the record straight, however you want to put it out or say it, because the fever put out a post that touts Caitlin Clark's season with the accurate numbers. WNBA leader in assists per game, most assists in a season in WNBA history, most 10 plus assist games in franchise history. Most assists by a rookie in all-star game history. I think Clark liked the post on Instagram. It's so easy to promote, Caitlin Clark. Look how easy it is. The Indiana Fever social team behaves like one that has Caitlin Clark on the roster, touting her whenever possible, which is how it should be. And on that note, since they mentioned the all-star game, I've seen this play uh, resurfacing a lot lately, so it's worth showing because even with the, the crazy defense, which... Is a little bit of a metaphor for the way Clark was treated in her WNBA season. And it's okay to be competitive and play defense. I wish the NBA All-Star game was more like that. But it, it does, you know, it, it does represent that mentality a little bit. And Clark still able to get a great assist off despite the, the pressing from Plum. It looks like Clark, by the way, says, why are you pressing right there? What are you doing? Why are you all over me? <laughs> you trying to prove a point here? Look at her. Look at her. Oh, come on. <laughs> Caitlin got swag. There's no denying that. Um, and then, so she fights to get the ball here, gets it, gives it up quick. There's Aaliyah who gets it back to Caitlin. And then Aaliyah cuts, and Caitlin finds her with the dime that winds up in a bucket on that same play, despite the extra defensive attention. So there you have it. Um, the princess of dimes, Caitlin Clark. <laughs>